Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to the first episode of Cities in Motion. We're gonna do a short series on this game. Uh, there's a big, big, huge reason why I, I want to play it. Uh, it's one of my favorite games, and this is, uh, if for you who don't know, this is Paradox Interactive and Colossal Order, uh, who made this game, published the game, all that good stuff. Um, uh, if you don't know the names, you probably should. They're the guys who made Cities in Motion, and this was made way, way, way before Cities in Motion. This is how the Cities in, uh, sorry, uh, City Skylines. Cities, this is how Sk City Skylines came to be. This is the first uh, game in the series, Cities in Motion. Actually, it's my favorite out of three. The second one was Cities in Motion 2, which looks basically like City Skylines. And then they were like, hey, look at this beautiful game with public transport we have. Let's build, build make a city builder. And then uh, Cities in Motion 2 is um, almost the same as city skylines you, you can you can totally see it but this one is different this one is different um this one is also my favorite right so i have crap load of dlcs on this game as well i collected it through the years because i really like this game and i support it i'm gonna quickly run down it, it's kind of basic the, the graphics are pretty nice uh, I'm, I'm happy with the graphics um i think it's even more a little bit i don't want to call it realistic but um it's not cartoonish like City Skylines, so it's, it's more, let's call it realistic. Uh, right, so uh, we have a couple of things we can do here uh, currently. I'm going to go and just check out the options, load game, map editor, settings, all of that stuff. Graphics, I think I have something set up badly here, but I'm not really sure. When I old top, it doesn't keep the window, it's, uh, but it doesn't matter. It uh, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We're going to go for uh, achievements. There's a lot of stuff we did, a lot of stuff I didn't do. So we're going to go and uh, try to achieve most of them. Uh, credits, nothing. So we're going to go just for a new game. And this is Exit, yeah. So the new game, we have tutorial. We don't want to do that. Campaigns are really cool. I suggest you play campaigns if you want to play this game. Um, because it's fun. It's really fun uh, covering all the cities. Uh, uh, covering all the basics. They guide you through. It's, it's like If you want to do tutorial, do the campaign. Um, sandbox mode is what we're going to do now. Scenarios. Um, I'm going to skip scenarios for now. Um, I'm going to skip scenarios for now, we're going to go for sandbox mode. Okay, so I'm going to give you a basic coverage of what this is. Like, you can, you're going to see a lot of, uh, you're going to see a lot of maps here. Uh, for example, Amsterdam, Berlin, Helsinki, Tutorial Town, uh, they're all cool. Then you have Vienna, Cologne, well, Vienna is also cool. Then you have new ones, Cologne, um, Leipzig, uh, these cities. Now you can start in different ages. As you can see here on the map, uh, you can see that the cities uh, is developing. So if we go here, uh, you can see in the Cologne here, in west, west of Cologne, you have new development happening. So cities are developing, as you can see here. They are quite big. They can, they can be quite big. We're going to go for one of those cities that actually developed that we can start in older age. Uh, Bucharest, uh, unfortunately, that's not one of the cities that develops. You just do a 2020 Bucharest. Kapala, that would be Finland, I believe. Uh, it does not develop. There's not, nothing happening. River City, uh, this is a cool map, big map. I like that one, but um, again, it's no, no development. It, there's no time challenge. As the ch time develops, you know, like you get new parts of the city that you have to cover, so it's a little bit more interesting. Um, Munich, uh, Munich, it does develop, but I don't think I'm going to start with Munich at the moment. Uh, we're going to go for uh, two big cities, Paris. Let's see how far back we can go with Paris. Paris is a cool one as well, but it's pretty big to begin with, even in, in the 1920s. What we're going to start with, uh, let's skip to the, to the end. Uh, what we're going to start with, ooh, New York City. Ah, a little bit of development there, but nothing, nothing spectacular. We're going to go for either Berlin or Vienna. I think I'm going to go for Berlin. Uh, we're going to go for 1920s. You can see how big, uh, how much Berlin is developing. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go for medium. I'm going to leave these as they are. So let's go and start. The logo doesn't really matter which we choose. Oh, pink. Let's do pink, pink. Um, right, 1920s and let's start. Okay, so this is the uh, Berlin 1920s. First thing, uh, what I always do is adjust the ticket prices. So how do you adjust the ticket prices? I have some kind of a basic rule. 
basic rule is I'm going to charge as much as I can for the tickets, but I'm going to try to keep my employees happy. So we don't have anything. Let's start with nothing. We have 12 and a half well, thousand, let's call it thousand. I always pretend that it's a million because it's it's not real money. But um, the, wh what do we do? Well, let's go with a basic uh, graphic user inter interface. Uh, you have here construction. Each one of these, there's not much you can actually do. You cannot develop your own roads. You just use the current roads, which I think it's much better than Insidious Motion 2, where you can actually build your own bypasses and stuff. I think this is a little bit better because you're not like in the city builder or game or in a public transport and this is where it can be now you can build tram lines you can build train lines off the main roads but you cannot build new roads right so we have basic transport buses trams uh, metro infrastructure this is above ground and below ground water buses and helicopters I actually never used helicopters and uh, this is just demolish demolish for everything uh, right, 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 right. What else do we have here? We have uh, money and the popularity uh, reputation. On the left hand side, we have map. This is also important one when you start with uh, undergrounds. This is the shows you the underground. And then we have some news happening here, positive and negative. And here you have a video of the uh, on the bottom right hand side, you have a video of your well, tram or a bus. But I think this view with the information is a little bit better. Okay, and the, the time uh, that we are at its bottom left hand side. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with the basics. So uh, we have um, what I think in any of these maps, especially big cities, uh, your your important part are these uh, avenues with the middle part empty, because you can lay trams there. They are going uh, parallel to the actual traffic, and they are not affected by traffic. So. Uh, these are important and I usually try to use uh, as much as I can these areas to build my tram network. Okay, um, the points of interest, we're not going to cover, well, yeah, I didn't cover the rest of the GUI. This is, this is the most important part where you have your uh, finances, you have your loans, we're going to be taking out loans. This is the expenses, I don't usually check this out, energy expenses. And then you have a uh, company, how it works. Uh, usually I go charge people until they're dark red and I go one level below. Uh, so I'm not sure if this actually influences their happiness, but I don't go for the worst of it. I just go for one below. We're going to go initially. I'm not going to build any metro stations. We will be doing that as an investment in the future. And I go for the happiness for our people to be the happiest uh, because green is the happiest. There's no above that. And there we go. They're all green and all the um, uh, water buses and helicopters. I'm not going to adjust that. We're not going to build it anytime soon. So buses, trams and subways tickets are ready. We're going to adjust this as we see fit uh, through the years. It changes like uh, if the boom times are ahead and we have a um, prosperous nation, um, uh, we're going to increase the prices. And then our people were not going to be happy because the um, uh, the standard of well, pays, paychecks and everything else is uh, going up, so they they would expect they're gonna get pay increase. So we're gonna increase their salary. Also, we're gonna decrease as we see fit as well. Okay, so points of interest on the map. Usually, if you go around the map, unfortunately, you cannot zoom out more. At least I don't know if you can, but more or less uh, follow the logic. Like you have some things here. Let's go with this one. This is like a department store, shopping center. This is the city hall. This is the hospital. So these are points of interest where people would like to go. We have another college over here. We have a theater. Um, one of the biggest ones are train stations. So we have a train station over here and we have a train station over here. Those are the two big train stations. They are pretty close to each other and partially they have quite clear areas around here where we can actually build uh, stations. You don't have, uh, Stations, you can build them on the roads, but you can also build them off-road. Off-road is good because they are not interfering with the local traffic. They are not creating traffic jams. By the way, we have a theater here and the uh, 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 merry-go-round or a fun park. Uh, amusement park. Let's go with that. Uh, also, the density over here is quite high. You have these. Uh, this is the highest density. You. Well, it's not really that you can get. Uh, that you can have high rises in the maps, but at the moment, these are one of the uh, the highest density that we have.
anyway, we have a hotel here, we have another department store, we have another theater. So between these two uh, train stations, we have a lot of interesting stuff. I will build, um, I will go even further. Let, let's start building, let's start building. So um, this is, like I said, quite realistic. We don't have any depots here. Uh, the trams just appear you know, on the road. So what I would like to build here is the basic infrastructure. I'm going to use the road, the main road here, because we don't have any other. Um, but I think this is going to be, I think we're going to be fine here. I will build like this, but like I said previously, uh, I suggest that you build your uh, most of your infrastructure off-road, where the uh, tram stations are going to be and so on. Let's use part of this dense residential area all the way to the end here, so we can build one big line from this uh, train station all the way to, usually I take this church as a reference, this, this is going to be a little bit challenging, you can build... You can build the infrastructure going around this. I believe this is, is it hotel or is this hotel or is it office building, office building. We're going to build it over here. Let's go and like this and we're going to go to the church ground. It doesn't really matter. Feel free to build. I'm going to build a station here off the main road and we need to build around about for our trams. So let's, let's try this. There we go. You can always play with this. We can do we, we can do the roundabout around the office building or anything like that. Let me real quickly demonstrate that. We can do it like this, this, and this. If we want to. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I'll, let's go with this. Well, let's have both. Let, let the trams choose where they're going to go. Okay, so we finished it on this end. Let's finish it on the other side. So tram station uh i would usually build it somewhere around here on the parking space but we can do it like this i can build let's see uh let's build it here uh let's build it like this there we go we have a roundabout here and i'm gonna build a tram station right close to let's see actually how the tram stations are gonna look now bear in mind it's 1920 uh you don't have uh, some uh, big uh, trams and uh, stuff you have basic stations you don't have even the one with a with a, a rain shelter or anything like that we're gonna go for uh something like this we're gonna cover the amusement park area first here we said we don't have to put it on the main road but i will in this case because i think it's the best thing to do continuing on again this is this is this road even narrows further but i think we need to build it over here just to have it covered by the way build your stations close to the intersections because you might build a line in the opposite direction and people here i believe mechanics of the people in this game is one of the best uh, ever they use different modes of transport actively uh, it's built into the game and uh, I think it's really, really cool. I think it's one of the best ones and this is why I enjoy, enjoy playing this game so much. Okay, uh, we're gonna go for a uh, first stage from one uh, train station to the other. We're gonna continue in the same manner uh, going forward. Let's build... Uh, no, no, this is easy. This, this part here is easy. You just try to cover as much as you can uh, what are the, uh, radius of the train tram stations. Here we go. And we have the last one over here. Let's just build a station like this and that's it. Perfect. That's it. That's done. Uh, we can open our um, vehicle tab here. Now bear in mind you need to choose which vehicle type you're going to build. So let's go with tram lines. We're going to create a new one. Let's add stop. And it it's very cool. It shows you where the tram is actually going to go. I don't think you can ch choose where you want your tram to go if you have bypassers or something. You have to build a station, as far as I understand. As far as I know, you have to build a station if you want your tram to go in some other way. So we are all the way here, but the line has to be closed. Don't forget to close your line, because if you don't, you won't be able to put it in operation. So let's build it all the way around. All the way around. Just cover this area. Here we go. 
and here we go. So we're going to go and put this one in, in operation, but it's going to tell you, no, you don't have at least one vehicle assigned it. Perfect. You can do everything from here. Now you can choose vehicles from this side, but you can press here, manage vehicles It's going to open the same. Now, unfortunately, the, I have too many DLCs and uh, they don't separate the DLCs by age. So you can choose some trams like these, they are big ones. Initially, I believe only the first two, but we're going to stick to the first one are kind of age appropriate. I'm not sure about this one. I'll have to I'll have to see if this one is age appropriate. It doesn't seem so, but it doesn't have a lot of so what, what what's important about the term? This is absolutely horrible. I don't know what uh, Prospecta Experimental, that's horrible, never touch that one, it looks appalling. Anyway, um, we have a capacity, that's the most important thing, and attractiveness. Usually older vehicles are more attractive, you know, tourism and all. Uh, electricity consumption, it's kind of important, but not so much, but likelihood of breakdown and speed are important. So this one has six, speed 65, this one has 50, of course it has bigger capacity, likelihood of breakdown 50%. This is why I think that the, this tram here is not cheap. Uh, because like some of them, even though being more expensive, they have enormous capacity. So I'm going to skip those. We're going to go for age appropriate. I'm going to go for these basic, small, basic ones. Now I'm expecting that this is going to be quite popular route, uh, but we're going to go with... Um, um, we're gonna go for time for money saving option. We're going to go for four of these trams. I'm going to show you. They just appear. Previously, I think they appeared equally spaced, they are now as well, but not spread out through the whole line. As you can see here, I'm going to close all of these, we have trams equally spaced out, but from there where, where they began. So these are the small trams, 10 people capacity, the smallest we have. We're going to be using them because I think they are more appropriate for this, but I'm going to tell you straight away that I think that this line is going to need way more vehicles and um, uh, that we're going to potentially even consider a metro, replacing it with metro, not really replacing it, but doubling it with metro. Metro stations usually in this size of the line, you can see here we have every few hundred meters a train station, uh, sorry, the tram station, uh, I would put one uh, subway station, metro station at one end, one over here and one at the end in this area. So they would be covering only the major hotspots, like the um, like the railway terminals or, or railway stations. And the second one, the second one is uh, the second one is that you are actually creating your own hotspots by creating this tram line that you see here. This itself is a hotspot because this can transfer people elsewhere. So for example, if I had a tram line and not connected to this tram line, I can connect my subway station anywhere on that tram line and then people will find the closest way to get to the destination that they want to. So they would use Metro, go to the tram line and then travel the last uh, few steps with the trams. So even if you connect, even if you build a like um, Metro station in the middle of nowhere, if it's connected to other trams, transport system, people will like it and use it because it's uh, it's connected to where they want to go. So you're offering him, them options. Also, um, I think it's a um, saying within this game, uh, it's called the feed the lines or feed the tubes, lines, I think something like that. Um, uh, you have a segment of the game where you actually don't have to take the people from place A to place B. You can just connect the, the public transport that is being underused, for example, at the moment, but only at this moment. This is underused because we don't have enough people in the stations. I mean, <laughs> there's 22 here and it, that's more than we can take. I, I'll slowly start buying more vehicles, but we're going to do it right now. Just a second. Uh, you know what, let's, let's uh, cover this first. Let's uh, buy more vehicles because uh, the stations are be uh, becoming a little bit crowded. I'm going to go for the same ones. Where is it going to appear? Ah, perfect. It appeared over here. So we can space them a little bit. Now, don't be afraid about, uh, there's no spacing here. They're going to do the voodoo that they do do so well. We cannot space the vehicles. They will uh, space themselves. So uh, obviously they appear on this side. Is that the station number one? Yeah, they appear on the station number one. So uh, I will 
uh, pace the amount of vehicles we need by putting more vehicles uh, as I see that we, we, we are losing capacity. For example, here, I think we need straight away another vehicle. This is fine. The more vehicles you have, it's better for you. Of course, the expenses go up, the driver's uh, salaries go up, everything goes up. But uh, profit goes up because if you put more vehicles and especially if they're full, which most of our vehicles will be, especially because they are small vehicles, we, we, we're going to earn profit. Uh, we're going to deal with the profit a little bit later. Currently, I want to uh, I want to uh, finish uh, finish talking what I wanted to explain. So, for example, if you have underused public transport system, if you're transporting like the capacity of your trams is like 50% or less, you don't have to worry about that. Just connect it to neighboring neighborhoods. For example, if I build a bus line through this neighborhood, I will be attracting people from here that want to travel there. So just implementing a short bus route will feed the main line that you have because most of the people still want to go to train to train stations. They want to go to theaters. They want to go. Uh, they want to travel around to go to work to go elsewhere. I'm gonna go and buy a couple. I was expecting to buy around ten uh, trams uh, on this line. I will. Did we finish one month already? Oh, you can see here that people are not happy. Well, they're content. I will just increase their salaries. From time to time, I like to do that. Usually, when you increase their salaries, that means that you can increase the fare prices. I won't in this case. Uh, last month, we finished in the minus. Well, is that the last month? I think it is. We bought only... No, this is... This is... What month? This is February. This is just the estimate how much we might earn by the end of the month. Bear in mind that this is expenses for the trams that we buy, so it's not that bad. And also, your uh, income is straight away added to the money that you can spend. But your expenses, let's go for another vehicle. But your expenses, like salaries, they're only deducted at the end of the month. So you might look like you're doing great, but when the end of the month hits, first of every month, it's a disaster. It's like you're going to lose a lot of money. Even with this, like, not a lot of money. Let's see how much money we would lose. W wages, 266 at the moment. I think it's, is it ele electricity and maintenance? A, a lot of expenses hit you hit you at once. So heads up on that. Now, you have to offset that by well, tickets that you sell. So currently, uh, this tram line looks like it's working fine. People are Some people are not happy. But hey, you're going to have those. Here, for example, you're going to get notification. 62 people waiting on this tram line. Yeah, you're going to have unhappy people. But look how many people you actually made happy. Uh, your reputation is going up. You're doing fine. Now, we do need more trams on this line. And I will add them uh, slowly. Let's go and add another one. You can see that this one, ah, they start here, unfortunately. They don't pick the people up from this station. But I think we should expect a new, uh, the tram. You can see here the tram with 10 people. Uh, two out, two in. So tram with 10 people here, it's almost back to the beginning. And the loop will be uh, closed. So we will have the whole loop in operation. Currently, it's February 18th. We're going to speed the time up. I'm just trying to explain the basics at the moment. And uh, what we're going to do next, well, um, we can continue uh, raking in profits. We have a couple of things that we can do at the moment. Now, uh, Berlin is a big city. We can start with Metro as well. We don't start with a lot of money, but we can start uh, with Metro as soon as possible because we will have people for Metro. So I'm straight away thinking that we can implement it with this tram line parallel the subway line. Um, it's going to be extremely expensive. It's, we had 12,500 to, to begin with. We didn't take any loans at the moment. And we don't have any money. Now, this is going to be three to four times more expensive. Just three stations and tube underneath there. So, yeah, it's going to be pricey. Um, at the moment, this system should work. And I think we should slowly see the um, finances improving. So, we'll see how that goes in time. But let's check it. Let's check it. Let's check it. Uh, let's check how finance is going to go. If you press number two on your keyboard, this is going to speed the time up. Let's see how many. Uh, just before February, can we buy another tram? I'll pause this for a second. 
685, I don't think we're gonna make it. We're not gonna earn the, here we go. We are straight away 685, we were 600 and something, we lost 600 monies. So we lost 600 monies, but ta-da! Prediction for March is that we're gonna be in green, back in black. So we're gonna be in green, so they're predicting with current development that we will be in green. So that means that the, they expect us to have uh, all these tramps full all the time. Now, if we want to have a slow development, we can just continue doing what we're doing, adding one or two tramps. I believe we're gonna have enough money for two trams. Uh, let's see, uh, do I have, where are the finances for the previous years? I think it has to... Right, so this is um, uh, this is the overlay. This is the overlay of the population where they are and where they want to go. So you have uh, extreme details again: blue collar workers, uh, white collar workers, all the workers. You have uh, business people, uh, students. This is where people live, tourists where the tourists live, pensioners, where they live, you have the overlays of the city. So if you want to make those people happy, you can connect them to where they want to go, uh, to where they live, or vice versa. And then you have workplaces, then you have shoppings, you can see here where the shopping centers are, and then leisure, uh, and then you have the government buildings, and then you have traffic, how dense the traffic is. You can see these red, avoid them, but... It doesn't affect you that much, especially these avenues, because bear in mind that you have two lanes. Even if we built the tracks in, in two lanes, in two lane roads, it doesn't mean that the traffic will affect you. It most likely will, but um, uh, it doesn't mean that it will. So uh, use the avenues. If you can, use the avenues to, to transport, to build your infrastructure. Okay, let's uh, put none here. And I'm going to show you here, even though there's traffic jams on the roads, our trams are just flowing smoothly. Perfect. Coffee time. Right. The one thing I didn't do here is put any tunes. Let's have some uh, music in the background. Let's see if we can get some sound as well. Is it doing anything? No, I don't hear anything. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'll, I'll resolve this for the next one. Now you can see the the problems we have here. Now where the future development will go? Currently, I said that we're gonna have ten trams on this line. I'm gonna do that first. So I will, uh, I will, uh, I will implement one more tram at least. Uh, we're gonna have money for that. Now bear in mind that the price of the vehicles also fluctuates, goes up and down. Oh, we, we don't, it's almost end of the month, we don't have money for even one tram. I'll speed this up so we can at least get this one tram. And this is probably where we're gonna uh, leave for this episode. I want this uh, development, future development, uh, whatever we decide to go for. What? Oh, 705, you son of a expensive, expensive gun. Let's go for two. 705. You know what, let's uh, slowly, here we go, and go. So, I said that we're going to have 10 trams on this line, and we have 10 trams. Perfect. We have huge demand. You can see how many people are actually angry on the stations. That's fine. They're going to get less angry in the future. Don't worry when we offer better service. But financially, we are here. We are uh, we are making some kind of profit. You can see here, again, the expenses is purchasing and repairs. Purchasing, in this case. Now, they can break down the likelihood of breakdown percentage that you have on the trams. They actually break down. You can see them uh, smoking and they need to fix it. You lose all the passengers. I think the money is refunded for the fare. And um, and that's it. Uh, wow, five of them got out here. Oh, interesting. Uh, so they, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, right, so the future development, I, I would like to hear what you guys think about this. Um, I don't think we should expand this network of trams at the moment because even this current network that we have, we can't sustain because there's too many people. So if we add more to the network, 
it's just gonna add more people wanting to go around and that's kind of bad we don't want people to go anywhere we want to transport these people as much as we can my suggestion is that we go or maybe we'll see what i'm gonna do uh but i'm thinking that we should go for metro and uh, what i said in the beginning to connect metro on these major lines here so then people will not go to tram to travel from here to the train station or from this train station to uh, the end of the line over here but they will actually use metro why because metro is going to take them within minutes and this is going to this ride looks like it lasts for half an hour or more this tram ride so we will alleviate a lot of pressure from this metro and then we can then we can consider the other thing that we were talking about if we start having a metro from here to here to here we can consider connecting this metro to the rest of the uh, city uh, slowly uh, feeding these lines so if we see that metro is not doing well that means that uh, we can start pumping people into the tubes by providing them uh, local service of trams or buses or trams or buses we'll see uh, regarding how dense the neighborhoods are how many people we have there but usually uh, all of these areas in the city i prefer to have trams rather than buses but but on the other hand there are some narrow streets here that they don't see a lot of traffic we can squeeze the buses in there they, i don't expect a lot of people to be using them but anyway that's that's a story for another of time okay for now i think i'm gonna leave it here the only thing i always forget what is the short short key for um rotating the map because i think we have that as well but i don't know which one is it this is just the underground but it doesn't matter i'll find out it's cool to see the everything from the other perspective but anyway i really really like this game uh by the way i cars change in time as well so we have old cars here ford model t <laughs> uh, limousine sedan they're just called like that taxi we have a couple of taxis but anyway uh this is more or less it how i wanted to begin with i don't know how many episodes i'm gonna make in this series this is something that i like playing on the side uh i really enjoy this game and uh i just want this you know wanted to record this hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well uh we're gonna make a couple of videos i don't know how long the series will gonna go we'll see what you guys say about it but anyway for now i think i'm gonna leave it here i think we're doing great i think that prediction for the next month again are positive and i think we're gonna overshoot that as well we can continue pumping trams here but then you're gonna have tram after tram after tram which is <laughs> kind of ideal because you will have the the density by the way uh, you have enormous amount of details here about your vehicles uh their age likelihood of them breaking down maintenance everything everything how many people are how profitable each tram is heads up on that there's a lot of a lot of details that you can it's just amazing game i just love this game and uh it, it's just really really cool now fear not we're gonna have other games on the channel uh parallel to this we're gonna finish be finishing ostriv uh, soon we're gonna start 99 percent. i'm sure we're gonna start with banished uh but um uh, while we're taking a short break from uh, workers and resources i will play some other games one of them is gonna be this but also probably again 99 percent soon we're gonna see surviving mars as well but um let's let's let not let's not let's not make Ul uliki promise something that he can't deliver so uh fun at least fun for uliki is something that i'm really looking forward to oh wow they're not happy right uh that's it uh thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel i have the description of the video thanks for watching guys happy monday happy bank holiday if you're in countries that actually have it on monday like in ireland so and i have to go back to work i'm working today guys have a nice one see you in the next one. bye bye